Hi, I'm Russ Festino. Welcome to Atomic Transactions. Atomic Transactions allow complete strangers to trade assets without the need for a trusted intermediary, all while guaranteeing that each party will receive what they agreed to. In traditional finance, trading assets generally requires a trusted intermediary, like a bank or an exchange, to make sure that both sides receive what they agreed to. On the Algorand blockchain, this type of trade is implemented within the protocol as an atomic transfer. This simply means that transactions that are part of the transfer either all succeed or all fail. Here you see person A send 50 algos to person B only if person B sends a concert ticket to person A. Either it all happens or it all doesn't. On Algorand, atomic transfers are implemented as irreducible batch operations where the group of transactions are submitted as a unit and all transactions in the batch either pass or fail. This also eliminates the need for more complex solutions like hashed time lock contracts that are implemented on other blockchains. An atomic transfer on Algorand is confirmed in less than five seconds, just like any other transaction. Transactions can contain algos or Algorand standard assets and may also be governed by smart contracts. In other words, Algorand atomic transfers offer a secure way to simultaneously transfer a number of assets among a number of parties that are complete strangers to trade assets without the need for a trusted intermediary, all while guaranteeing that each party will receive what they agreed to. In short, atomic transactions facilitate a guaranteed exchange of goods. They are combinable with other Algorand technologies such as smart contracts and assets. Atomic transfers are on-chain as a layer one native function. They are easy to use and secure as well as they support up to 16 transactions. Atomic transactions can be considered the secret sauce or the glue when architecting a decentralized application or a dApp. It ensures that all transactions in the group must succeed or all will fail. Here are some other examples of atomic transfers. Circular trades. That's where, say, Alice pays Bob if and only if Bob pays Claire and if and only if Claire pays Alice. So that goes around in a circle. Also, we got group payments, everyone pays or no one pays, distributed payments, payments to multiple recipients, uh, decentralized exchanges, trade one asset for another without going through a centralized exchange, pool transaction fees is another one, one transaction pays the fees of another, you can combine with Algorand ASA or smart contracts, Atomic transactions can be grouped with calls to smart contracts. For example, a crowdfunding application may accept a payment transaction in addition to calling uh, the app to register the donation. Other examples include instant settlement for complex um, multi-party uh, asset transactions, simplified expedited settlements, efficient match funding, reduced counterparty risk, enable any multilateral trade. The Atomic Transaction Composer is an application binary interface or ABI compliant way of generating either one or more transactions. If it's more than one, it creates a group. Can be used for a payment or any kind of transaction. It also supports application calls. It enforces the ABI and that's an important part of it. When you instantiate the Atomic Composer, it has a state machine. It essentially tells you when it's building, when it's built, signed, submitted, or committed to the chain. It has two method calls, add transaction and add method call, as well as a build group call that builds the group, moves the state from building to built. And then we gather signatures, which signs the transaction and moves it to signed, and you can either submit it and return it at this point, or you can use the execute method, which broadcasts to the chain by waiting for it to complete and changes the status to committed. Then that returns the confirmed round 
in an array of transaction IDs if it's a group and returns the ABI result, which is an array of ABI types that you can loop through the results and look at what your smart contract returned. This has so much functionality associated to it as it handles all of the encoding and decoding rules when the smart contract is returned back. We use this a lot and it's fantastic. If the Atomic Composer is doing a simple transaction, it is no more than doing an add transaction method call. And what you pass is what we call a transaction with the signer object. You give it a transaction and a signer. So here we have the transaction signer with maker functions for a basic account signer, multi-sig account signer, and make logic sig account signer, which should map to how you want to sign the transactions. But what is unique about the composer is all three of these implement this interface. And all it takes is an array of transactions and an index to sign once the promise is fulfilled. It returns an array of uint and all of the signed transactions. If you implement this interface yourself, you can plug into the signer field and you are good to go. Here we see a make payment transaction with the transaction and account signing it. The Wallet Connect implements the interface as well. What is really neat about this is if you ever needed signatures in multiple places, it's going to be quite difficult. And with the Wallet Connect interface, that will make it much easier. Okay, let's take a look at a demo here on Atomic uh, Transactions. We're going to use the Atomic Composer through the JavaScript SDK. All right, uh, so what this uh, code is going to do here is we're going to have two accounts. We're going to recover account A and account B. So let's go ahead and get to that point here with the debugger. So here we've generated and recovered an account using uh, the mnemonic uh, phrase up above in a routine called recover account one. And then this is where you get the address uh, that gets displayed here. Uh, we'll do the same thing for a second account. And let's get the account info on both of those. So we got a balance here of um, 31 algos roughly and uh, six algos on the uh, account B. And what we're going to do now is create a signer object. So you want to construct the signer object that will be used in, to sign transactions later during the Atomic uh, Transaction Composer group construction process. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and create our uh, composer, which allows us to easily add transactions and ABI method calls to construct an atomic group. And there you can see the first transaction we're going to add, this TX1. This is going to be making a payment, and we're going to go from uh, account one over to the uh, faucet address, and then we're going to give them 0.1 uh, algos. So that's the first transaction. Now the second transaction that we're going to do is we're going to go from account A to account B, and we're going to send 0.2 algos there. So we're going to add that next transaction in as well to the transaction uh, composer group along with the signer who's signing that transaction. Now this statement here, we're gonna go ahead and execute, and that does the equivalent of a broadcast to the network and then also a wait for confirmation. So when this comes back, you can see the round that this is confirmed in down below. Right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, print off the group ID as well that we get back that is used uh, to uh, keep track of both of those transactions in the group. And you can see that listed right here. And then you can see the balances that uh, go down accordingly the way they're supposed to. Start out at uh, 314, end up at 311 here. And then also we have uh, 658 uh, going up to 705. So we're increasing getting the algos there. Okay, and then I went over to uh, Algo Explorer. I pasted in that group ID to do a search on, and lo and behold, there are the two transactions we just completed. Uh, transaction one, uh, we had 0.2, and in the other transaction, we had 0.1 algos um, going between the sender and the receiver. So in summary, we took a look at the Atomic Composer. 
Uh, it's great for doing a bunch of transactions and having them all succeed or all fail. The deck and the atomic transaction resources are on the QR code. And you can see here are the links to the deck, the code, uh, the docs on atomic transfers, as well as the atomic transaction composer, and join the uh, Discord uh, server if you haven't done so. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this session.